For UT Tyler Athletics, this past weekend was one for the record books as the Patriots wrapped up conference tournament championships in baseball and in softball. Those titles, along with the championships already won by men's and women's tennis, women's golf, and an at-large bid for men's golf, means that UT Tyler is sending six, that's right, six different programs to the NCAA championships this spring. That's an ASC record, and it might be a national record as well. I'm your host, Eric Jontra. We'll take a look at that and much more on this episode of Patriots 360. Let's jump right in with softball, where the Patriots wrapped up their first American Southwest Conference Championship last Sunday in Irving. The Patriots picked up the ASC's automatic qualifier to the NCAA tournament and will play as the fifth seed in the West Region Tournament beginning Thursday at East Texas Baptist in Marshall. The Patriots' first-round opponent is fourth-seeded Redlands of California, a team UT Tyler beat 5-3 in last year's NCAA Regional Tournament. You can hear UT Tyler's first-round action on the UT Tyler Sports Network. Links are on the Athletics homepage. At the ASC tournament, sophomore Whitney Wiley hit two home runs and had five RBIs on Thursdays to help propel UT Tyler to a 9-0 win over Howard Payne during the first game of the tournament. On Friday, the Patriots knocked off the top seeds, ETBU and Louisiana College, to advance to the finals. Kate Bell's home run was the only score in the 1-0 win over ETBU, and Rue Richardson had an RBI that forced an error that led to a run in the 2-0 win over Louisiana College. Sophomore Stacy Shepard threw 13 and two-thirds shutout innings over those two games. On Saturday, though, Louisiana College beat the Patriots 6 to nothing in the championship game, forcing a second game that was stopped in the bottom of the second inning because of rain. The field was not playable on Sunday, so with the tournament officially over, the tiebreaker went to the Patriots because they had beaten Louisiana College four of six times of this season. Seniors Kate Bell and Rue Richardson and sophomore Whitney Wiley were named to the all-tournament team while sophomore pitcher Stacy Shepard was named the most valuable player of the ASC tournament. Finally, for softball, the ASC Softball All-Conference Awards were announced Tuesday. UT Tyler's Rue Richardson was named the East Division Player of the Year. Whitney Wiley was the division's Newcomer of the Year. And teammate Ashley Clores was the Freshman of the Year. In all, 12 different Patriots received all ASC honors, and the complete list is available on the UT Tyler website. Congratulations to Coach Mike Reed and all the Patriots on their ASC championship, conference honors, and their trip to the NCAA tournament. On the baseball side, the Patriots were just one pitch away from having their season ended by Mississippi College in the ASC championship game. But UT Tyler staged a dramatic ninth inning rally to score seven runs and win the conference title and a trip to the NCAA tournament. Down to their last out, the Patriots rally began with an Austin Newell double, followed by a single from Jake Ashley and a Choctaw error that allowed Newell to score. Kendall Fox then stepped up and singled in Ashley. Chad Delighton was next up to bat, and he scored the game-winning run with a home run shot over the right field fence that scored Fox as well. Jeremy Harding was next to score off of a wild pitch after reaching base via a walk, and the Patriots capped their scoring at eight with a single from Jared Hood that scored Brock Lehmeyer and Paige Hodges. Earlier in the day, the Patriots turned in a dominating 16-2 performance over Mississippi College in the first championship game to force a winner-takes-all game two. The senior quartet of Chad Delighton, Jeremy Harding, Paige Hodges, and Jared Hood all went yard in that contest, driving in a combined eight runs. In his first start of the season, senior Grant Campbell went the full nine innings, allowed only two runs off of seven hits, four strikeouts overall. The Patriots went 4-1 and one in the tournament. They picked up wins over Texas Lutheran and UT Dallas as well as MC. Following the tournament, Hood, Fox, Holland, and Campbell were all named to the all-tournament team, while Delighton was named most valuable player. UT Tyler will now advance to the 2009 NCAA Division III Baseball Championships May 13th through the 17th. The Patriots will have to wait, though, until next Monday to learn where they will play their regional and who their first-round opponent will be. Big news on Monday for the UT Tyler men's golf team when they received one of just two at-large bid, at bids to the 2009 Division III Men's Golf National Championship. The men now joined the UT Tyler women's team in traveling to the PGA Village in Port St. Lucie, Florida to compete in their respective national tournaments. That tournament begins on May 13th and runs through the 16th at the Die, Ryder, and Wanamaker courses at the PGA Village. 
The UT Tyler women had already locked up their spot in the tournament by winning the ASC championship in late April. Good luck to the Patriot golf teams in their first national tournament appearances. The UT Tyler tennis teams, which won their second consecutive ASC championships a few weeks back, learned their NCAA regional destinations on Monday night. In the women's regional, the Patriots will return to the Claremont, California regional, where they will take on Whitworth this Friday in the first round. Whitworth enters the tournament by virtue of the automatic qualifier from the Northwest Conference. While the women travel west again, the men will head back north to Minnesota for the second consecutive year. Like last season, the tournament will be once again, the regional will be once again hosted by Gustavus Adolphus in St. Peter, Minnesota. And the ASC champion Patriots will once again receive a first round bye. The 16th ranked UT Tyler men will take on the winner of the first round match between Luther and Concordia of Wisconsin. Luther won its way into the tournament by winning the Iowa Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, while Concordia was crowned the champion of the Northern Athletics Conference. Finally this week, we turn to the track and field, where men's Patriots teams and women's teams finished third and fifth, respectively, at the 2009 American Southwest Conference Championships last weekend. In the women's meet, sophomore Sarah Hankla became the first top three finisher of the championships for UT Tyler when she grabbed second place in the 10K run. Ashton Wells took home the lone women's win for the Patriots as she defeated a very crowded field in the hammer throw with a distance of 37.26 meters. In the men's events, Ben Donnan won the 800-meter run and the 10K. Warren Brown won his first of two events in the meet by beating out teammate R.J. Cowan. The Patriots finished a perfect 1-2-3 and three in the 5K as Brown picked up his second win of the meet while Cowan and Donnan fin finished second and third respectively. In the race, uh, Josh Twine also rounded out the top three finishers for UT Tyler with a third place showing in the javelin throw. That'll do it for this week's Patriots 360. As always, you can find the latest on UT Tyler Athletics by visiting our website at www.uttyler.edu forward slash athletics. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Those links are also on the home page. Good luck to all of our teams in the NCAA playoffs. And once again, thanks for watching Patriots 360. And go Patriots! <laughs>